thing with hell. Crazy. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. You gonna be this side of my body? You gonna be this side of it? Dio! You need more beats on the What's good, YouTube? Eliante, about the Damas. And to get this vlog started, I am doing a photo shoot for my brand. So, I do have a couple of the tees that I restock in. And I got the new tees right there. Uh, I'm finna go to Ponce. And uh, probably do them on the stairs at Ponce. If not on the stairs, near to like the green area. But I'm trying to get this photo shoot done so I can get these out. This feed posts up because I'm dropping on September 2nd. I'm dropping and restocking on September 2nd. So, um, yeah, um, I'm trying to figure out when does it get cold outside because I want to see when I'm going to start working on hoodies. I need to start working on hoodies now and getting samples in, but like actually as in actually dropping them. But I'm going to still drop tees when it's cold outside. I'm going to drop a heavier tees. We're going to go 300 plus GSM. Not sure what exact number yet, but I'm going to keep running the clothing brand stuff because we've been doing great. So it's going to keep increasing, keep growing. But um, I'm about to get in the car, head to Chick-fil-A real quick. And then head to punt so we can get this shoot done. It is the next day after my photo shoot. I did not pick the camera back up after my photo shoot. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and throw these TikToks at y'all. Everything that we do is untraceable. Get, she really thinks she irreplaceable. She tries this and they sit in symmetrical. She can go to an Emmy was epic. Next year my investments was ethical. They are so y'all can see what the shirts look like and what the drop look like. Um, I did not plan up. I did not plan on picking the camera up today, but my boy Terry, uh, his Instagram sold by Moss at Ford called me. I'm out of Dark Horse, so I know I said I was done with Ford, but for some reason that Dark Horse still has a place in my mind, bro. So currently I do not plan on buying a car because I want to move first. But it's like I don't know what it is, bro. But I, I just gotta see to see if I really want to do it or not. So I am at Courtesy Ford, Courtesy Ford Atlanta, even though it's in Congress. So um, I'm gonna let him know I'm here so I can go ahead and look at this dark horse. I just wanna look at what y'all, I just wanna look at the dark horse with y'all and see what y'all think about it. But if I do get a S650, it will not be a dark horse. It'll be a normal 5.0 because the dark horse is like a Daytona. It's overpriced for a couple of few things. So fuck that. If I get one, I'm getting a regular S650 50 But I'm finna go look at this uh, dark horse real quick and we gonna see how, um, let me text him real quick. I'm finna see. Yeah, so I'm finna walk in here real quick and see if he in here and then we gonna go from there. The, uh, the, the dark horse is red, but I don't think I ever wanna get a red car. But like I said, I'm not getting a dark horse, so it don't matter. But it just me to really get an idea of what I'm looking for in the S650. Cause I know if I do, whenever I do decide to get one, it's gonna be white, white or black. Sir, you got the man here himself. So by Moss, my boy Eliante, he keep his word, man. He coming back every time, man. We gonna show him this 2024 S650. Nah, this is crazy. Last time I was here, <laughs> came to pick my car up. I said I wasn't buying the Ford again, but <laughs> when I heard about the S650, I just had to come look at it. Uh, we can do a side by side comparison with mine. Yeah. Just to see how everything differs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Didn't they get like pushed back? That was a Ben came out, right? Yeah, they were supposed to be here like two, two or three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I guess they had to tweak a couple things, mm -hmm. but you know how this car market's been lately, man. Yeah. It's yeah crazy. This is tough. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This thing looks crazy. I still like the 550 though. I yeah. feel like the 650 just looks more like futuristic. I said the same thing, man. Like the 550 has more of an aggressive look. Yeah. I like the I like the 650, but the 550 is more aggressive than the yeah. 650 itself is. It look nice though. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Crazy. Bro. Right. 
bro. This somebody order or this like the one they sent out to the dealership? Somebody ordered this one mm -hmm. and I I don't know what happened to the order, so this one's going on the showroom floor mm -hmm. if it's not sold today. So this is this is Dark Horse, right? No, this is Oh it's regular uh, S650. This is a GT. This is what I want. I don't this want a Dark Horse. GT, this is a GT premium. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, the dark horse is basically replacing the Mach 1. Yeah. So it's a Mach 1. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a GT premium with the performance package. Mm -hmm. So you get the e-brake. A lot of people don't know if you don't get the performance pack with these wheels, you will not get that handbrake. Unless you get a dark horse. You it you That's cool, because I did not know that. <laughs> Nah, this is comfortable too. It's like, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The only bad thing that I say about a Mustang that is that's growing on me is not having a sunroof. Yeah. But other than that, this is, bro. This is tough, bro. It's almost like at that point, you got all this power. You like, man. You forget about the sunroof then. Exactly. <laughs> Sunroofs aren't supposed to be in muscle cars. That's why a Demon doesn't have one. Cause it's not really safe, I guess. Yeah. That's one thing I never knew. It's hell because you flip over. Mm -hmm. It's all concrete. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. See, that's why I need to stay away from dealerships. Cause I tell myself I ain't getting no car. Then I get here and it's stuff like this, y'all. Like he almost got me in one of these. He almost got me. <laughs> he almost got me in the 550. I, I was close, then I was like, nah. But bro, like the 650 is just—it's so hard to pass on. I'm out here swinging this hot. But the 650 is just so hard to pass on, bro. Like, look at this. Like, people say I like a Camaro based off the pictures, but when you actually see it in person, this looks nothing like a Camaro, bro. Neither does this, like. The Camaro comparisons, once you see them in person, they'll go away. Sticker you know, price. Is that what? It's also a little bit longer. Than, uh, than this one? Yeah. If you, if you look from this side, my car is in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you still got more length on both sides. Oh, it is longer. Okay, so it's a longer car. That's crazy. Let's look at this sticker. <laughs> Let's see what this sticker talking about. Jesus. This must be fully loaded. Uh, or almost. Pretty much every option we can get on here, mm -hmm. including like um, a different interior seat, black appearance package, performance mm -hmm. package, massive brake package with the brake, uh, the black Brembo brakes. That's what like the black with the white on it. That's yeah. how I don't know. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I don't, I don't built a few just to see how they really look. And what I ended up doing every time was like the the grayest color with the performance package and the black. Uh, Brakes, yeah, with the red interior. I think that's a good way to do it. Man. The tires too. Yeah, the brakes really fill up the wheel well. Mm -hmm. With the rim. What I really want to see is one with the Mercaro seats. <laughs> yeah, Mercaro like seats. I want to see. Oh, you know what? I got one more thing for you. So, even though this is the higher trim level, I do have an Eco Boost over here that we can take a look at. Oh, it's a 652. Yep, 650. For for your EcoBoost fans, mm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, they got the. Uh, it's like the. What is this called? Cause I don't know what it's called. Like we got the the double brakes or whatnot. I guess. So you do have a performance brake pack mm -hmm. with the bigger rotors and this extra brake back here. Mm -hmm. It's really like an emergency brake. Yeah. Um, it looks good through the wheel, but the main purpose of it is an emergency brake. Okay. Right. It's. I don't, it's so hard not to like this car. Like, I don't know. This is it's just. Gotta throw on you. Yeah. I think you know. There's gonna be a handful of people that love it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's got the different uh, setup in the in the interior as far as the dash goes. And that's that's like honestly the main thing that got me was the interior because you know most most of car companies like Dodge and Chevy. They don't change the interior like that. Right. And it's like to even look that modern. Yeah, and and still keep that same muscle yeah. rather than you know
know, going electric. Mm. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record some videos on my phone real quick. We gonna go look at the EcoBoost. I'm pretty sure it has different options, so we're gonna see the differences and the options and whatnot. So I'm gonna let y'all compare the stickers. But like I said before, I got out the car. As of right now, I'm not looking. But it's like when you see stuff in front of you, you really don't know. But I do plan on moving first before I end up do get another car. So. Oh yeah. Oh, you just reminded me. I forgot to show y'all under the hood. Jesus. Dual throttle bodies, strut bar. Damn, like a 80 horsepower. Yeah. Like a BMW motor. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This look, this setup, yeah, is crazy. This is tough. Hold on, y'all. So we are now walking up to the EcoBoost. It's more so, I'm not gonna call it a base model, but it's not a premium. So all the options you saw on, that were on the 655.0 is not gonna be on this one. As you can see, it's no spoiler and whatnot, but we got different wheels. But it still got the cool, the same cool look in my opinion. See the inside. See, I was telling you like, since it's not a premium, you got two separate oh, screens yeah. now. Two different screens. Big one piece. Yeah, cloth seats and stuff. No paddles is crazy though. Yeah, man. Now look. Without the performance pack, you mm -hmm. get one of those e-brakes. Oh, the little, uh, the little thing to pull up. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Now that I actually see it in person, the premium price difference is definitely worth the money. I mean, this is cool, but I feel like if you want to get it, you're spending that money to spend the extra. Because, like the split screen, it doesn't make a, a huge difference, but it's right. just like, it just looks a little bit better. And this little brake right here is like... The handbrake just looks more so better. So I feel like it's just, it's all personal preference about the little small touches, to be honest. You see, this also doesn't have any paddle shifters, so. It's like, really, in a sense, it's like, you just getting what you pay for, really. Cause right. it's still a nice car, but you're just getting what you pay for. I mean, this one's like completely stripped down mm -hmm. base. We got an MSRP on the 32,000. Okay, that, that makes sense. The price of it for sure makes sense. Equipment group 100A. It's gonna signify base model, no added options, spoiler delete. You can do a spoiler delete on any trim level except the dark horse. Mm. I personally think that's a cleaner look. Yeah. It gives it more of a vintage look from the backside. But yeah, this is what your standard 2024 Mustang is gonna look like right here. I like it. It's still cool to me, even though it doesn't have all the extra features and options, but. I feel like whenever I get one, I'm spending the money, I want the features and options. It's a huge price difference though. It's almost 30,000 difference if y'all can see that. So if you want the newer Mustang, you're more of a budget, this is what you would go for. But me personally, if I'm getting a new car, I'm gonna just wait the time and just go all out on what I really want. Exactly. It's like cars are expensive now, man. It's almost like the most expensive, second most expensive thing to buy in the house. So mm -hmm. you always wanna make sure you get what you want. You know? mm -hmm. Get something you actually want. This is crazy though. Like I woke up today, I did not expect to be coming to look at S650s. Random. Yeah, really it random. was so random. Because he, he called me, I was like, what the? But wow. every time he called me, that's the only thing I think about. Dark horse, dark horse, dark horse. <laughs> and he called me today, he was like, it's here. Man, I got up so fast. Anytime, anything exclusive drop, Eliante get the first call, man. Man, I gotta get one. I gotta I got get my, I gotta have my priorities good though before I get one. Like. Yeah. I can afford to do it, but I wanna get the crib first. But uh, I'm finna go back around to the front and I'ma uh, continue on with my day. So I'm gonna pick the camera back up once I do leave the dealership and get going with my day. The Yale Yard pop up is now done. I took vlog right beside it, place that nigga see a bitch. But um, realistically, the last few clips we were talking about the, the v fucking S650. And honestly, bro, I don't know. I don't know about it to be honest. I'm a uh, nigga talking to me for some reason. I'm gonna take my time with the whole car shit. But I'll probably move first, get my little spot, then get my apartment. Y'all should see this nigga still talking shit to me. I don't like talking to him. But you know, pretty good turn off. I see how you wanna be like me. I don't know why this old ass unk ass nigga finna, you finna fuck up your ankle, look at you. But, um, yeah, y'all pop up, good turnout. If y'all haven't yet, 
Well, JT look like a water boy. Hey. What's up, Gio? Yeah. I still hurt. Huh? I hurt. I don't know. Oh, it was, on, it was on my camera, right? It was on your camera. Damn. I'm going to send you the clip. You want to send me the clip? Yeah, I'm going to send you the clip. You keep the clip. So I'm going to answer the clip of what, what happened. Bitch. Damn. Hold this. Bitch. Bitch. What? <laughs> Bro, get, get tall, man, man nigga, bro. Get your ass on somewhere, bro. What the Wait, fuck? This man. This man, short as fuck. Come on, nigga. Type shit. Oh, mm. shit. God damn. What up, boy? You want me to sign that, my boy? You want me to sign it? Gio! What? Did you want me to sign the cap? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready, 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 ready. Look at Skelly stupid. Skelly out here. Oh shit. Wait, hold on, hold on. I ain't signing shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, me neither. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> so yeah. I'm still hurt though, I ain't signed no argument. I've been practicing it my whole life, my whole life and shit. Like, you, know, you know You know it's crazy? I practiced signing, but I didn't sign it right. Word. Wait, hold your camera. Chest. Oh, oh, <laughs> nigga. Nigga, nigga, he disrespected me, nigga. Said, yeah, my, you, you remember that shit? Right. Nigga, he gave everybody some sweats but me. Nigga's name was written down. Yo. Fuck stock boys, nigga. Yo. I, I got sizes. I got sizes. Bro, he didn't even have my name. No, don't look away. Oh, you didn't get one either? I got one. Don't look away now. I got, did I not get sizes months ago? And, and, and then Thank after you. he did it, he gonna ask you what size I wore to the room back to the room. Yeah. Nigga, I don't want it no more. That sounds you know, like. You know he wears size small. Exactly. He's extra small, too. Right? No, I don't write small. No, he's size. You fucking size. loser. No, he's a <laughs> 15 through 18. No, cross size, he's a XXXS. X, X, X. That's what size oh. my car. Nigga, you barely bigger than me. Yes. I'm gonna go sea salt when he's on there. Where you see that? Nigga, always get your car. But y'all, we at sea salt. Uh, we're on a day where it's not hot. I was dying today. <laughs> bro, bro, I made my sweats to charge today. I'm cold today. We're gonna use an AC. I was outside the trenches. I'm used to this. I was in the trenches with young folk. Shout out to man, Gio was outside, outside the whole time, boy. Gio, Gio was outside sweating bullets. Man, that nigga's that nigga's having fun. Gio's out there screaming. <laughs> he said, hey, Gio, told me, hey, stop, outside, bro, it's lit. I said, bro, it's hot. Nah, outside, bro, I go, I, I, I showed your ass today. I like that. Nah, it was, it was cool last vibe, bro. That shit was cool as fuck. Yeah, this show was some love. Yes, it is. Stupid ass nigga. I tell you, I tell you, Alright, so where's this food? I ain't gonna lie. What's your name real quick? Yes, nigga. Some garlic shrimp. Small? Why is it small plates? 45 pounds. Oh, I'm against. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is. Nigga, I'm a cheap nigga, bro. Look at this. Alright, where's the salmon? Ooh, that's our OC. That's our OC. Huh? Why you think she called me broke, nigga? Broke ass nigga. Broke. <laughs> oh shit! Oh yeah, I can't wait till I'm <laughs> chill, chill out, folks. Chill, chill, chill the fuck out, folks. Please. God damn, baby. Man, she better for you. She OC over there, homie. Damn, she upset. Hey, he said, he said, oh, nah, he said change the video from yeah, you're a pop up to raising up the way. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <I'm sad. laughs> trying to crash for the fret. She, she, she do look dumb. I like that. Nigga, you think about anything else possible? You can't break bread. He fake. What you doing, bro? I got one more buck on my plate. No. Oh, you did? Oh, I see you order, bro. Watch out, bro. Watch out, bro. I got They give me this with no pork. What, what I have said that one time? What? Um, if you can't break bread, he fake. I had one more buck on my plate. It was me and bro. He had pasta and bites. We had we had shared that shit. You ordered your food. Your food on the way. He told your food on the way. You did order, nigga. I didn't order no entree. I yeah. I just I that's your fault. I will take all your ones. You will? Think so? 
Man, what? Well, Forbid to fight like some fucking dogs. It's my food, boy. Right now, ain't no awesome. I'm not. And me and Ty gonna jump you, nigga. I'm not. Fuck, fuck, man. Man. Nigga, everybody got that. That shit don't scare me. We gonna jump your ass. I can't jump me. I got one for everybody. No, you don't. You ain't got a Wi-Fi for real. Every nigga. Oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Yo, so I got my food and this shit looking. Why the fuck I got weave in my? What the fuck? No. Hey, what's up, bro? No. I thought it was with another bitch. What? My bad. Oh, yeah, my she name? No yeah. Hey, Gio. Bro, sit down. man. What that shit tell like? Bro, shut your hungry ass up, bro. Ain't better than mine. Ain't better than mine, but it's good. All right, so I am now back home. Uh, sorry for the short video, but really this video was only supposed to consist of me looking at the Mustang, but that wasn't enough footage. And today was the AR pop-up, which is yesterday from the day I'm uploading this, but I didn't really want to record at the pop-up, but um, right now, I just want to show you all these tees. Everything on KT's are restocking on the 2nd of September. Well, this new tee coming out. I'll put a picture right here of the um back of the shirt so september 2nd archives atl drop don't miss out because last time i dropped went crazy and uh i did a little shock restock probably won't do that this time so do not miss out the first time and if you haven't go subscribe to the sms list which will be down the link to it will be down in the description so you can get notified every time we drop uh discount codes early access and all that so don't miss out on that but um as I can see, I still didn't get my damn dent fixed. Or my hood. And I didn't watch this motherfucker. When you're so busy, bro, it's so hard to keep up with car shit, bro. But I need to go ahead and get everything taken care of because, like I said, in the last few clips, I don't really plan on getting the SX50 uh, right now because I do want to move first. I could get the SX50 now, but I feel like moving is a smarter thing to do first, so... I still wanna, um, I'm still trying to figure out where I exactly I want to move. I know I said in a, like a video or two ago that I knew where I wanted to move, but I really don't. So I wanna find out where I wanna move and get that situated before I end up getting a new car because when I do get a new car, I'm still gonna keep this Mustang. I know that people say two Mustangs are stupid, but there are two different types of Mustangs, two different type of engines, two different everything. Like the S650 does not look like this. So, the whole thing about it being the same car or whatever, that doesn't even apply. But, um, yeah, man. I just hope y'all don't miss out on these tees. There's, this is pink right here, but there's a total of 10 colors. So there's nine colors aside from this. But as of right now, this is the only color in this one. But I'm working on getting the white design made to see how it will look. So whenever I do get a design made and if it looks good, that white one will also drop. But as of right now, it's just the black and the tin, everything okay to you. So just stay tuned for the drop and don't miss out. I'm gonna go upstairs, edit this video, get it done. It would probably only be 20 minutes. I know I told y'all I'm shooting for 30 plus every video, but this is just, I don't know. I'm gonna get right for y'all though, but I'm trying to, well, I'm not trying to. I'm going to stay consistent for y'all. So 30 plus minute videos coming from here on out. Gotta get it right. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and comment like a, Comment a tree emoji, man, because it's free tree. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. And make sure you turn on those post notices. Thank you for tuning in, man. It's me, your boy, Eliante. I need you to show me you're different, baby. Show me how you drive you crazy. You want me to sign that, my boy? You want me to sign it? Tio! What? Did you want me to sign the camera? <laughs>